Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Today in this video, I'm just gonna be taking a quick look at the brand new DJI Mini 4 Pro here. I'm a bit late with this unboxing because my shipment got caught up in customs for about a week. Uh, that's what I get from ordering from DJI's website, I guess. But yeah, Amazon, B&H, Best Buy, I definitely would recommend in the future. Anyways, it doesn't matter, it's here. It's now, I got it with the new RC2 controller, but otherwise, you know, you basically know what to expect. It's the DJI Mini 3 Pro, except for you get the new features, notably the HDR HLG mode, and of course, up to 4K 100 frames a second. And also, though it's not really a big deal for me, the new obstacle avoidance that you get potentially full 360, or they say omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. We'll see how well that works. I'm not particularly the biggest fan of DJI's obstacle avoidance system, but hey, I guess it's an improvement over the last one. So that's got to be good, right? Well, anyways, here we go. Let's get the plastic wrap off this bad boy and take a look at what's inside. Um, the box is standard, literally looks identical to the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, they basically could have just replaced the number three and not many people would even give a second glance at the drone itself because it looks so similar to the previous model. But anyways, here we go. Uh, we have the drone here. Just undo this little strip here and then open up the top of the box and boom, this is the fly more combo. So of course you do get the bag with all the goodies inside. I'll set the box off to the side for now and open up because literally everything you just wanted is right in here. All your hopes and dreams. No, just the drone and the drone controller and all the accessories. So of course, first thing you get the RC2 controller. Really great, potentially better range. Uh, battery life is a little less than the previous model, so that's not great because I have had issues with running out of battery on the regular, uh, the original RC controller. But hey, it's a lot better range, so just you know, always have an external battery bank with you and definitely be careful to not run out of battery life while flying. I wouldn't know that from personal experience, definitely not, because I'm totally responsible at all times. Anyways, here we have your charger. Set. We'll open that up now. Get to the accessories first and then the rest of the stuff later. Standard charging set. I went with the plus batteries because I'm in the US and 250 grams isn't as big of a deal for me. But if you are in Europe or some other countries that have rules concerning 250 grams and like regulations, you might want to get standard batteries. They still give about 22 minutes, 23 minutes of flight time, real world flight time in my experience uh, with the Mini 3 Pro. So Probably gonna be about the same for the Mini 4 Pro. Here you have the drone. They did design a new propeller holder for this drone, which is interesting because they didn't have one for the previous one. And I didn't notice too much of an issue with my Mini 3 Pro. I can actually grab it out right here. Like these propellers I've had on it for about now, I wanna say four or five months at least. And they're not in too bad of shape, but I guess, you know, this is gonna be definitely more stable, more secure and protect your drone and the propellers, you know, much more than just having this loosely chucked in a bag or something. But yeah, as you can see here, uh, pretty similar design to the drones. They did redesign this uh, gimbal guard here on the front to also cover these two now much wider field of view cameras, which I think is a good move because they are much more pronounced than on the Mini 3 Pro, as you can see there. So yeah, protect those, protect the camera, and hopefully be easier to put on and take off, we'll see. Somehow DJI hasn't quite improved that, but actually that is one of the easiest gimbal guards I've ever experienced on a DJI drone, man. I wonder if that's just because this is kind of locked in place right now, but if that's really always that easy, that's, that's impressive. Because usually it's a fight every time you get to put this on and not just because I always want to keep flying. That's, that's another issue. I think you also get some spare propellers in here. Let's see, you get a little set of manuals and a quick start guide, which we'll take a look at. Second there. Yeah, just, you know, you don't really care about those. You can get most of these online now anyways, so eh, it's nice to include it, but I just usually chuck them and then, you know, Google it when I have an issue. You get some nice uh, snacks for yourself if you wanna have a last snack. And then you get these propellers, yeah, which hopefully they also redesigned the screws that hold them in place because a lot of people were stripping those out on the Mini 3 Pro. And 
that's a scary thing to have to like get into a Dremel tool and all sorts of things just to take off your propellers. Here is the uh, screwdriver. Looks a little different than the first gen, but pretty much about the same for taking off the propellers. And then they do actually include two USB cables here. One USB type A to type C, which is like the traditional USB cable. And then they also do include a USB C to type C, which is probably for the faster charging. If you have any of the new wall chargers uh, that came with your potentially like Samsung devices or maybe OnePlus devices or something like that, that will charge this at a faster rate uh, and can charge the batteries. I think they charge at up to 30 watts, but don't quote me on that. Um, and that will give you faster charging times versus like taking a day to charge those batteries. So definitely use this cable when you charge the batteries and try to find like a newer charging brick that potentially might be able to charge these batteries a little faster. Otherwise, that is it for what's in this bag here. We'll take a look at this new controller, of course, because that is really honestly the main reason other than the HDR slash HLG video why I bought this drone and opening it up. Yeah, it looks nice. They bring him back the antennas, of course. That's an interesting move. Obviously, my guess is that the original RC they found didn't really get the best range without the antennas. You know, they had the internal antennas. So going back to the, you know, this is the way they started off. That's nice. A little chunkier here on the back, potentially. You got your little, uh, you know, back buttons there. Storage for the sticks, which is actually moved. I think it was here originally on the previous model, but they put it there. And yeah, turns right on. Hopefully a little faster. Yeah, that looks a little faster to power up, which is nice because I did feel that the previous generation was a bit underpowered, but that powers up pretty nicely. And then of course your drone is a similar power on thing. I won't go through the setup process here. Uh, but you are going to, you know, double click, remove everything from the gimbal, double click, and maybe it will turn on. Eh, no, I'm not going to go into that now. But yeah, you probably should also charge your batteries first before you even bother powering the drone on uh, because you should just power them up to full. As you can see here, these probably are not fully charged. Uh, are they? Apparently, they don't even want to activate until I plug them in. So we'll get to that maybe in a future video or go check someone else's setup video on how to set up this drone. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you found my unboxing of this new Mini 4 Pro drone helpful. Sorry for the not so great lighting setup. I am currently traveling and just had to find a desk that worked. Uh, hopefully I'll be back in the studio sometime soon. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this drone, leave them down below. Check out my other videos on DJI drones or the DJI Mini 4 Pro specifically. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching. Peace out, fly safe, and have a nice day. Bye.